Hi, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys, this is just going to be a daily. Let's see what's going on. Um, I feel the vibration of spirit, and I don't even know what to say. Right now, it can go either way. It's almost like, see what I'm saying? Hangman energy. The epiphany has come. Is the spiritual healing really here? Are you, are you listen, are you even speaking to yourself spiritually? That's another question, right? Are you listening to what's being said? Divine messages, right? Okay, let's see what today's energy is for you guys. Moving on. Listen, Listen to me. This is the opportunity for you guys to find blessings, new communication. Someone is spying on you. Someone is watching you. Someone is intervening in your relationships. They have something to say. Okay, someone's taking justice into their own hands. There is also some sort of final decision that's coming around, being made, understood, understood that someone's so protected, they can't even be messed with. Things that are supposed to be going in your favor are going to go in your favor. Messages of communication of truth. You know, for whatever reason, I'm seeing this as an energy of reflection on the Empress energy <clears throat> as we just moved into Empress energy in Libra, right? Yeah. This was divinely guided so you could push on, push through, and go on your mission. For some of you guys, this is interesting. I, I really do see a divine masculine and the changes and the moves that have been made but there's a shadow aspect here. And then I see a divine feminine. And the divine feminine is more in her head than anything. It's, it's almost like there's a conversation between two people about a shadow element here. Or there needs to be a conversation about a relationship. And why things are going the way that they're going. This is definitely twin flame energy, of course. Dr. Buzzard here with this. Yeah, listen. This is about love. This is the opportunity to really find justice and communication in what you're supposed to be doing in life. I'm going to tell you now, if there's somebody here who really didn't see the truth about a situation, they do now. They do now. And I, I want you to know, if you're on this reading, your energy is that, that you are completely protected. Okay? You are protected and you are on the right path. Actually, some of you guys are stepping into marriage now. Everything that just happened for you was so that you could get to the moment where you do get to celebrate. For some of you guys, I'm picking up on an energy of flying monkeys. Okay? I, I am. And what that is, is it's like a hidden energy here. All right? It's one where you don't necessarily see that somebody is trying to take this justice into their own hands. They could be saying something. They could be doing something. Um, how do I say this? You know, though, intuitively, that you are protected. Because I don't know why. I just I feel like you see incoming here for some particular reason. Could be some sort of spiritual message. Like, because I'm thinking the phrase spiritually speaking, there could be some sort of spiritual message that comes through here. Give me the crowning energy of this, please five of coins. Wow. Nettle energy. Abandonment issues, but you know what? Hold on. Yeah, there's abandonment issues because there was sort of some sort of confusion here. Somebody's doing something deliberately. I, I just, I already know, and whatever it is that they're trying to do against you, it will turn out in your favor here. Um, the overall energy is somebody is not putting in the effort that they need to be putting in here. And they possibly need to be spiritually cleansed. Okay. Ten of Wands. Somebody has a lack mentality. And if I feel it's almost as if this person stays in this lack mentality. I, you know what's crazy is I almost feel like they're in this lack mentality because somebody chose to like manifest to get them manifest against them to bring them down in some sort of way because you have the high priestess and the mother of sticks here i'm not sure if this yeah see what i'm saying 
there there's something here that's caused some sort of delay be, with somebody right I feel like it's going to be revealed it's going to be found out could be a Pisces energy but it might just be an upset woman yeah see what I'm saying because someone feels blocked the overall energy is that someone feels blocked and they want justification within their particular relationship right now somebody needs to make amends here as well because of the actions and the communication that went through maybe someone is holding back as well someone's not doing the full amount of what they could be doing because they are emotionally blocked with whatever truth has come out okay um, there's something about finances here relaxed ease of mind eight of baskets in order to heal you will have to walk away and choose you okay you're gonna have to be extremely strong because of what's being manifested here there's something very very toxic and I feel like because there is someone who's toxic and you know possibly very nasty around you your abundance could go up and down because of that okay I I keep seeing this Piscean energy here and this eight of baskets is also Pisces there's some sort of karma here where there's something that you are going to have to walk away from maybe you know you you're pushing into something new because you need to celebrate you've got a new opportunity and blessing but you just you you feel so drained because of the prospect of not being able to do something the way you thought you were going to be able to do it. And it's emotional for you because here you are walking away from something. I don't necessarily see this as giving up. I see that this is you've done the work and now you get to walk away. So if this is an energy of flying monkeys, you know, if somebody's trying to come for you and you're just like, do I have to do this again? Maybe I should just leave this alone. Maybe I do need to block this. Okay, makes sense, right? You're choosing not to deal with it. But I feel like you're choosing not to deal with it because you already know that that's not your burden to carry as well, right? You've been on that journey. So you're walking away, right? Yeah, you are. Here's the thing. I feel like because this cactus is here, you need to reserve your energy. Yep. Yeah, you, you've got a, a third party energy here causing you some sort of drama that you do not need to deal with. I told you, flying monkeys. I'm not sure how all this is supposed to come together for you guys because I see multiple energies here. But don't allow this energy right here to continue to block you in any way, shape, or form. It's it, To me, it's a manifestation of someone because we kept seeing the high priestess here. It, it's the hidden energy it's someone you're not seeing or if it's you're not maybe they're standing right next to you okay you could say that and what you don't know is that they have deceptive um what's the word i'm looking for plans that delay you yeah because this person is jealous of you this person wants to cause some sort of regret they don't want you to have your abundance here that's why they come in with this energy of the back and the forth yeah, you see what I'm saying? They got plans to make you unhappy. Daily energy. Yeah, look, look, Empress at the bottom of the deck again. You have, you shouldn't have any worries. You shouldn't have any problems. You are the Empress. Do you understand? You are someone who is divinely guided to be in a state of wealth, be in a state of happiness. Okay, someone who's fair, someone who's mothering, someone who's nurturing. Okay, this is everything that you pretty much ever wanted. It's kind of like, you know, when the flying monkeys come in, whatever this is. And I feel like it's for a, a bigger purpose. If you guys really want to know, I feel like this is a very toxic energy. See what I'm saying? And you know to walk away from it. These people are conflicted. These people are conflicted. Yeah, King of Wands. It's the things that they have done. Or the, the things that they're listening to other people tell them to do. Five of 
five of pentacles, please. Ace of pentacles. Yeah, I told you, finances. Overall energy here. Lack of finances of some sort and burdens that you're not seeing. Okay, hold on. Can't take that. What else? King of Swords. So there's an opportunity coming in here to, to see this truth. I feel like you are actually using your smarts about this. There's also a soul contract here. This is deep, whatever this is. This is a severing of a soul contract. Having to leave it alone. Yep. Because of the burdens that someone else would create with this flying monkey business. And you might not see it right now. That's what I'm thinking. You might not see it right now. There's there's some sort of karma. There's something going on here where you are not the person who's supposed to be taking responsibility for whatever this is. That's why Spirit told you to move forward here so that you can celebrate. You're not seeing it though. You're like, you don't like the way it feels. You don't like the plan that Spirit has for you. But, I mean, because and it could be because you're going to end up um, in this energy where you're by yourself. But the thing is, is you'll be by yourself and you're protected. Okay? And then you can receive this offer of abundance and then you can move forward. That's the, I mean, you guys, it's just the way that it feels. Because I feel like you've got multiple people around you. What else do we have here with this tennis stick? Tell me about this burden that you're not seeing. Yeah, oh my goodness. That's, that sucks. Look, judgment, I told you. Karma. Saturn. Saturn's energy with this. I And you know what's crazy is it could be Pluto's energy as well. Because it's like, you know, Scorpionic. There's an energy of where something has to end here. Right? Okay, some of you guys, this is, I don't know if this is in reference to a job. But it's definitely in reference to a family. And it's in reference to money. There's a lot of greed here. Oh my. This is There's a greedy energy here. It's, and that's what it's. It's a financial aspect. Hold on. Let's see what we got here. Judgment. Yeah, somebody's jealous of you, boo. They really are. Three of Pentacles, four of Wands. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> wow. So whoever's doing this, if there is some sort of manipulation here, you do have some people that need to get away from you. Um, but guess what? The burden that's being carried here. <clears throat> See, they don't want me to talk. Wow. I noticed that earlier. <clears throat> the burden that's being carried here. <clears throat> You, listen, you're doing something different now. There's something completely different that you're supposed to be doing. And Spirit is trying to get you there. I promise you. For some of you guys, this is someone who wants to reconcile with you. Or you're trying to reconcile with somebody, but they have two relationships here. Okay? And that's not something that you need to be dealing with. Period. Yeah. Don't, don't play with the manipulator here who thinks that relationships are based on money. Don't do that. That, that is, that's a karmic situation, definitely, that you're dealing with. Maybe that's one of the things some of you guys need to kind of run from here. But, yeah. <clears throat> There's something else going on here. And, you know, i got to pull this deck out because that will get straight to the point. Let's get straight to the point here. Because there is possibility that you're going to be changing something. Some of you guys are changing jobs. You're changing homes. Somebody's doing something where they might have two homes. But here's the other thing about that. If that's the case, that's not going to work either. Because what that is, is that's just an opportunity for somebody to have more than one person. You know, like, like have a woman on the side and then, yeah, no, that's not happening. Somebody wants that. And that's, somebody wanted to try to. Tell them that that's how a relationship works, and that's not how a relationship works. You don't have um, two separate residences. I mean, this is a person that wants to act single, have their cake, and eat it too. So really, just go ahead and consider yourself an option and not this person's actual wife or whatever. I mean, you could even have a ring on it, 
but still this person is in an energy of where they are not um, trying to be committed they might commit because of money you know because that's a smart thing to do but they're not committing because of their heart and they're going to carry on with two relationships <clears throat> that's yeah I could see that so I don't know if that person is the flying monkey themselves or if the person that's in the in the relationship with them, like the other person, is the flying monkey. That's what it feels like. They're falling for the okie doke and not understanding this person's true plans to actually be single here. Yeah, somebody's like, I don't know. I just see the magic stick going back and forth between houses is what I see here. Yeah, and it's, it causes drama. It does, and you're done with that. You just you want to walk away from it. You're not trying to deal with it. You guys might be dealing with it. See what I'm saying? This is to me. This is like the husband energy. You might be dealing with somebody who says that they're a husband, but they're really crumbing the wife because they have a third party here that they're constantly working with and talking to. See what I'm saying? There's collaboration here. Yeah, you know, it's, I don't know. You know what's crazy is I feel like this is a master manipulator as well. This is also something to do with the law. It's something to do with the law. There could be some legalities here um, when it comes to not being where you're supposed to be or having, I don't know. I don't, basically, the energy is, is that you are going to be successful with whatever this is. If there's a legal energy here, what's crowning you is complete success. It's going to work out in your favor. Judgment and Three of Pentacles. You know, Spirit is on your side collaborating with you to bring in this particular celebration. Like I said, there's something here that you're not seeing right now. I think you might be overthinking it a little bit. Look at this, though. Look, King of Swords. There's a conversation that you're going to have here. For some reason, whatever you do, do not allow this person to bully you. Okay, put it, put an end to it. Just, just stop it. That does not interest you. It will tear your energy down. You don't need it. Okay, I don't know how you're going to put a stop to it, but that flying monkey stuff can really tear a person down. So you got to make sure that you, you know, pull out of it. Be able to balance and maintain your own energy here. Tell me about this justice right in the middle here. Because this is Libra's energy. You know? Libra energy, even though we're still here in Leo. I think there's a peaceful time coming. You know? And it's that's what they're trying to tell you. A peaceful time is coming if you let go of your burdens and cleanse yourself. You are protected. Yes, you are. You are protected. You just don't see it. Because you're you're comfortable. You're you're about to be extremely comfortable, whoever you are. Yes, see, see what I'm saying to you. You're walking away because you need to love yourself. I promise you. I'm thinking of this right here, but this is also in relationships. Like I said, they they have to tell you that sometimes things end. Cycles come to an end. New offers. You've got something brand new coming in, and they want you to rest and find peace so that this new blessing can come in here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I love it. See what I'm saying? Happiness, abundance, blessings, the divine feminine, the empress energy. Again, you will find victory when you rest. Okay? If you guys are a masculine, you're going to have to tap into your emotional side with this. I'm sorry. It is what it is. You know, I'm not saying you have to be all mushy-gushy, but you definitely need to turn around and understand and respect that when you put in hard work, a long day of hard work, and you got somebody coming at you with drama, nah, leave it alone. That's too much to be carrying. And if they can't see it, that's on them to deal with that karma. Okay? That's their faded energy here with this four of wands. Okay? You can offer the, to, to work with them to... You know, help them and assist them. But if they're going to stay mentally stuck and trapped in, in plots and schemes over money, nah. No, thank you. No. I just heard the magic stick again. And so they, I have to add that plots and schemes over sex. No, that's not happening for you. Okay, I told you. This person, someone's coming in. This drama that they're coming in with could be an apology but there's something new and it is literally to keep you stuck emotionally I, I cannot make this up you guys cannot allow this to take control of you you cannot 
You got to be stronger. You got to be smarter. You got to be wiser than that. See what I'm saying? This person wants to come in and betray you. Okay? There's also some sort of an imprisonment energy here. It, listen. Some of you all, remember I told you about this truth that you're protected here? Let me tell you something. I told you this is their karma to deal with. Because that's I'm, I just see it, right? Oh my goodness. Spirit is talking to them about all this drama that they're causing. Some of them are going to go loco crazy and not be able to handle it. That's why they're trying to come for you. They can't handle the mischievous that someone else possibly put them through. I'm seeing that third party energy here. So the third, so the, the manifester who has control over the monkeys here is sending out communication that's making them go nuts in their cage here. And they're like, oh, let me do this. Let me, let me cause this. Let me be parasitic here. Let me do this. Oh, trust me. This is a, this is a master manipulative game. For some of you all, it's on a spiritual level. For some of you guys, it's your family. For some of you guys, it's your woman. For some of you, it's your man. Some of you, it's your kids. You cannot allow yourself to stay stuck mentally. Look, they're coming in with conflict. They want to talk to you to bring you conflict. They want to argue with you. Somebody wants to argue with you about somebody who thinks this person is their end-all, be-all. But really the only thing that they're about to see, okay, is the fact that this person keeps coming to you. I don't know why this person is trying to put claim on someone who has the magic stick that bounces around to different houses. I don't know why, but... Listen, that's not for y'all. It's just not, okay? You know, and I'm, I'm forewarning you that this is actually an energy of where somebody's coming in. Um, don't, don't let others betray you. Don't let them get you locked up. And most definitely, okay, do not mess with this player. Do not. You have to take action here, okay? And the action that you need to take is towards wish fulfillment, all right? If you need to get somebody else involved to help you get out of your situation, don't be afraid to do that. I feel like that's the best option for you. Okay, so for some of you guys, this might be having to call the police to get this new opportunity to go. Um, for the rest of you, you know, you're on the pathway in the right direction. You are. You're going to have to take some sort of an action here. But if you're doing it with the player's offer, mm -mm. recognize the game for what it is. Yeah, see what I'm saying? It's the burden. This is a player's game right here. This is the devil's game. It is. You'd be better off by yourself. Somebody trying to come in here. I, pr I promise you. And listen to me. Listen to me. This person is so jealous of you. Whoever it is. You're going to have... You, you're protected. You're protected. Tell me about how... My collective is protected. You have new opportunities coming. See what I'm saying? You're, because you put in the work, because you know, you, you feel the vibration of your soul ancestors here talking to you. I know you do. And not only that, they told you to cleanse off so you could release this burden. And what you don't see is that when you released it, these flying monkeys are going to go insane now. They don't see it. They don't see it coming. But this judgment is, you know, it is what it is judgment that somebody was trying to carry on with the third party yeah look at that two swords and two swords judgment that they were blocked or that there's going to be some sort of block over finances because someone was being deceptive and dishonest here oh my god it's coming out see what i mean in a relationship okay somebody was really trying to lie and use emotion as a way of getting what they wanted and that that's just mm -mm, very manipulative peace no worries